Hey, what's going on, guys and girls, and welcome back to the bench. I got a, an, an idea about something with the Palomar at ERF 2030 pluses, and that's blowing shit up. Tell me what you think. I got an idea about, say, like four in a row, an open, wide open power, you know, and just letting them rip till they detonate. And then a dead short, detonate, and then bolt them and detonate. I already did a video on it before I put that video up. Let me know how many people would be interested on seeing that. I don't mean, yeah, there's going to be some people that be going, yeah, yeah, poof, yeah, cool. Yeah, but then there's other technical things. <laughs> that would be quite interesting to know. And I've done some testing. Anyways, thumbs up, thumbs down, let me know. All right, what you think about that? Mr. Hansen, Florida, Coax, Stud, 655. You guys are wearing me out, man. Got four more, and then back to working on stuff that's here. And then Monday is the last day. The extreme last day for any new, more, new orders before Christmas, okay? We're getting caught up on some stuff, but Monday. Anyways, uh, another topic. Someone's saying, hey, check this out. Look at this. Look at that. Well, guys, let me say that again. Got it? Okay, some guys, I guess, are showing a waveform. Just some kind of waveform with some tone going in it. They're blowing smoke up your ass. Plain and simple. <laughs> Unless they're doing it correctly. I've seen that once or twice in my life so far. So yeah, these things measure voltage. You can check out my AC volts to watch video if you like. Learn more about it, but you have to use a reference and levels for the voltage to be able to determine power and modulation. Okay, here's one bar up, one bar down. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome, ain't it? Here, let's look at that .01 too far. 0.03. Yeah, nice and clean. And, you know, let's take a look at one kilohertz. And one, one kilohertz. And say 30 megahertz. Squeaky clean. Let me go back to, uh, you know, just stay on 30 megahertz so we can see if there's any out of band intermodulation, well, there's no intermodulation distortion. We just check that. There's no spurious emissions. Let's take a look down about 60. Eh, very little. Very, very, very little. We're not going to stop that. So back to 30. Also, you can view it like this. All right. If you're really going to view it, this is how you want to view it. And yes, it's been keyed here for a while, nice and warm, but. That's picture perfect. Literally. Let's take a look at this. These little 655s are definitely doing the deal. I might turn the turn that down a little bit. It's hard to see both at the same time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, looks good, don't it? Here, let's stick one of these guys on here. And again, if you just see some kind of wave with some tone going in it, without seeing either reference, stay away from those critters. Alright, there we go. Here, let's see what it sounds like on the little Ranger. Let me back away so maybe you can just hear the radio. 789, that's not talk back. This will be talk back over there. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Break, break, break. No echo at all. That should sound just like my voice. If one of you, if you guys got a six fifty-five or a nine fifty-five or the four forty-seven, and it's not one of mine, try this little test. Just turn the echo on and see what it sounds like. Does it just get flat as a pancake? and sound all rumbly. Well, you might want to get in touch with me then. All right, seven, eight, nine, ten. Breaker, breaker, breaker. Check out the waveform.
Hey, we'll turn the echo back down again. Oh, I'll turn the volume up till it starts to squeal so you can hear it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Breaker, breaker, breaker. A little bit of echo. Yes, sir. Sounds good, don't it? Sounds real good. Cheap mic. Stay tuned in. Click, click. Button.